Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new predictions video. We've got Extreme Rules coming up this Sunday on the 4th of June. God, these pay-per-views seem like they're coming every, like, well, every they are every two weeks, but it seems like every weekend there's a pay-per-view or something. But nonetheless, I'm excited for Extreme Rules. It's, I think it will be a decent pay-per-view. Um, it probably won't be as good as um, their last, the last Raw pay-per-view, which was... Um, I am having trouble remembering what it was, but I remember it was a great pay-per-view that I really, really enjoyed. Um, I'm trying to remember what it was. It was with the House of Horrors match. I'm forgetting what it was. I, I forgot the name of the pay-per-view, but it was great. It was really good. Um, but anyway, without any further ado, let's quickly get into this card. Um, it won't be, I don't want it to be too much of a long video, but, so yeah. Sasha Banks versus, um, no, sorry. Sasha Banks, Rich Swan versus Alicia Fox and Noam Dar. I see Sasha Banks and Rich Swan winning. I'm not going to really say anything else. Then we've got Neville versus Austin Aries. Um, I'm going to go with Austin Aries on this one. I think it's time now. Um, I I know every time, well, I went against Neville at Mania and it ended up being Aries. Then I went w with Neville in the last on the last pay-per-view, which was, God, I still can't remember the name of it, which is really frustrating me. But yeah, um... I, and then and then never won again. So this time I'm going to go with uh, Austin Aries. I think he's going to get the win. It's in a submission match, and uh, I think it's a babyface kind of. Uh, it will be the good win that a babyface needs with the submission. Then we got the Hardy Boys versus Cesaro and Sheamus. Um, I'm going to go with Cesaro and Sheamus to win this one. I think after this they're going to go their separate ways with the Hardys, and it's just been building up. The Hardys have got every single win. Uh, in solo matches against the, um, you know, Cesaro and Sheamus, they've got the upper hand in every match so far, undefeated on the Hardy Boys, and I think Cesaro and Sheamus will get the win, and the Tag Team Championship gold. We move on to The Miz versus Dean Ambrose. Um, sorry, what was the, it's a steel cage match, isn't it, the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus, yeah. Uh, Jeff Hardy will probably do something really cool off the top of the cage, but yeah, I do see Cesaro and Sheamus winning. Um, then we've got Miz and Ambrose. Miz and Ambrose. I think Ambrose had the Intercontinental Championship enough, like long enough. He's not been the best champion with it. I think Miz always kind of elevates the Intercontinental Championship. Every well, most times he has it, especially the last couple times he's had it. So um, I'm gonna go with a, I'm gonna go with the Miz win on that one. Then we got the women's championship match: Kendo Stick on a pole, Alexa Bliss versus Bailey. Um, I don't think they're going to give it back to Bailey after she just after Alexa Bliss has just won it after Bailey had just won it off of Charlotte and uh, you know I know they're going to keep doing this whole I really want there to be a women's champion who stays for more than like a month you know so I'm going to go with Alexa Bliss to retain her championship on that one on a kendo stick on a pole match and then we got the number one contender match which will be the main event which is featuring Roman Reigns versus Finn Balor versus Seth Rollins versus Bray Wyatt versus Samoa Joe. I, uh, I'm i going to go with Seth Rollins on this one. I think that is what's kind of rumoured. Uh, I definitely see Seth Rollins winning. He's got a lot of momentum, even though he did lose clean to Roman Reigns. But, yeah, I think I think they're really kind of, you know, he got the win at Mania, um, yeah, with against um, Triple H. Then he beats uh, Samoa Joe, and I still can't remember the name of the pay-per-view. But, yeah, I'm going to go with Seth Rollins on that one. I think it'll be a good match. Um, I think Seth Rollins will just lose at uh, Great Balls of Fire, which yes, is still the name of the pay per view. But yeah, I think I think he will win. Uh, I think Brock will beat uh, Seth or whoever wins at, uh, at uh, Great Balls of Fire, and then we'll probably go on to face Braun Strowman at SummerSlam. Anyway, those are my predictions. Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm not sure if they're going to have Goldberg or R Truth announced, and it'll be on the kickoff show or something. If it is, if there are any added on like added matches that I haven't given my prediction. Then probably not going to be the most important matches anyway. But if there is an R Truth Gold Dust pre show match, I'm going to go with Gold Dust to win. Guys, thank you for watching my predictions. Again, let me know what you think in the comments down below if you agree or disagree with me. I'll see you guys either tomorrow or later on today for a brand new Supercard episode. Till I see you guys, take care and most importantly, peace out.